<laughs> okay, so I did it again. I moved my paint area. <laughs> and I've had it back here once before. This is my kitchen. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so I put this microwave right here kind of like as a divider. <laughs> And this door is kind of cool because it stays open and then that's more of privacy. <laughs> so I have a freezer back here, and which is kind of nice because I put things on there. I've got all of my important things that I know that I'm going to be needing. It's yes, my dirty air conditioner <laughs> vent. Uh, it's clean. The filter is, but the outside is always nasty. Anyway, I have uh, some of my paint stuff here. A lot of my little things I would need for resin and my lighters and torch. And let's see. These are all my folk art. Because it's nice and whippy for painting. Then I have some more paints down here, my pre-mix. I gotta use that. So I'm gonna be doing a pre-mix painting. I gotta use it up. So all my practice papers that I keep, you know, to practice on, some canvas, cardstock. Yeah, you gotta have all that. You know, pad paper little things in here, like, you know, paint accessories. Okay, look at this idea. <laughs> First I had them all in boxes, and then I thought, hey, wait a minute, because they were taking up a lot of room. I mean, I was able to squeeze all this in there because I did that. <laughs> kind of neat, and I got them color coordinated. <laughs> More paint. And all my leftover Christina Welsh paints. Uh oh. There go. And more Arteza. Some deco arts. Those are all of my metallics. But yeah, today I'm going to do a pre mix. And there's Ollie. Look how big he is. Say hi, Ollie. <laughs> yeah, you're lucky it's all dry. Say hi. Hey. <laughs> anyway, thought I'd show y'all that, yeah, I got the extension cord going. And <laughs> it's pretty funny, though, because I've moved so many times, but this is my new setup. And this painting I'm going to paint over. I think that's about a 20 by 30 or 30 by 40 but I one time put a little bird up there and not too crazy about it but yeah I'm gonna paint over that oh uh oh there goes my paper towels oh jeez What are you doing? Oh. Okay. So. <laughs> oh, I have all my band-aids too. And things. <laughs> Some micas. My favorite ones. But, um. Uh, yeah, I have everything that the bulky stuff, like big canvases and resin, all that in the back. I've got my cups ready. But yeah, down here, let's see, this, this is a mess. It's all dry. I have my torch and my blow dryer, my heat gun. A little heat gun for coasters, <clears throat> my paint container, 
And then I have all my gloves. My, my Susie. And that cat and the big old silver paint thing for resin stuff. And my paintings. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I've got to do a pine cone on that one. I think it's going to be really pretty. I'm still learning it though. <laughs> Thought I'd just do a little tour. And I thought this was something to see. Alrighty, I'll get started. Okay, so I hope I'm focused. I hope I'm in view. Because <laughs> I don't have a step stool to see that tall. I can see it a little bit though. Alrighty, so I have a... Of course, you can see I practiced on this. Uh, this is a level one artist loft stretch canvas 16 by 20 okay and i'm going to use those pre-mix the dated 2020-09 so yeah i think it's time to get them used up <laughs> now i've got purple gold white turquoise and black and i don't want to use a whole lot of black so I have to be careful. <laughs> and for like a 16 by 20, you need about 12 ounces. So I'm going to go halfway. There. I can see in there. Okay. That's violet. And this gold is always been so beautiful I've always loved it and I shook them real good but I can't promise there's not gonna be chunks I just think I saw something chunky go ahead <coughs> I'll just fish them out I used regular acrylic flow trial on this cup before and I had difficulty pouring it Skin. It's 12 ounces. Yeah, I'm seeing little chunks. That's a bummer because they always ruin rings, chunks. Oh, 
Okay. I just want to get that. There's a snag right there. Well, I have to accept them. There's a snag right there too. Means there's something clumpy in there. That's too bad. It still might be cool. Runs. That's what I call them, runs. <laughs> this is looking really pretty, though. Really pretty. Trying to keep it in the camera. I hope it is, guys. I have to tilt it this way a little because I want to save that. Purple is much. Bring it over just a little because I actually like all that. Look at those snags. Oh, well. That's neat the way that purple's going underneath that. So I'm liking that. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty up here. Ooh. Okay, I got to fish out these chunks. I got to change my gloves and find my tweezers. <laughs> hey, let me see. Nope, not in there. I didn't put them in there. Okay. I see a lot. But that's okay. Gives that character. Just don't want to dry them with them in there. It's going to take me a while. way I like it. Oh, that's pretty. I have to get my torch. Because this paint also leaves a few bubbles. They eventually pop, but this is just gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I'm really pleased. Oh yeah. Definitely this way. There we go. I can see them all pop. Wow, they're 
it's so neat over here. All that up here. It's neat everywhere. Even with those snags. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take the camera down now and hold it. And try to get a close up. Okay, so I had to move it because there was just too much glare. I hope this is better. It's very cool though. There are so many little chunks. I got them though. That's so cool. Very pretty in there. How the paint just blended like. Well, there we go so thank you for watching and i hope everybody has a great weekend coming up um i'll post some pictures photos at the end of this video hopefully they'll come on a little clearer so tell me what you guys think i think it's really awesome this was super fun now i want to mix some paint and do another one but with regular acrylic I will catch you on my next video okay it's hard to hold this phone this high so I'll catch you later bye bye